Fourth Gate Podcast, Dom Damali here. What's up, you guys? Back with a quick video. I have been recently uh, binge watching a show, and the show is called Faking It. If y'all haven't seen Faking It, it comes on MTV Monday nights. I don't really know what time because I've been binge watching, but I do know it comes on Monday nights. So if you haven't seen the show, I recommend that you guys out there go check it out. I'm pretty sure, whoo, sorry y'all, it's a gnat up in here. <laughs> sorry. But I'm pretty sure that, uh, dang, when I start recording, the gnat want to come around. Okay. I'm pretty sure that most of y'all have seen it. I'm late on it because I'm not really a big MTV fan. So, um, one day I just turned to MTV and I caught a glimpse of, uh, some very sexy things on the show. And I said, oh. This might be a show I need to check out. So, like I said, I started binge watching it and now I'm caught up to the point that everybody else is. I don't know if I'm going to be doing reviews on a regular, but I am going to do a review today of pretty much what I think of the show, the characters and stuff like that and what I think is to come. You know, just a little a little review. It's not going to be long. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing faking it reviews cuz I don't know if that's what what y'all want to see. My pretty little lies video views have been low so I know y'all don't give a fuck about that. So I'm trying to give something now that y'all might give a fuck about and I like faking it so you know I don't know if y'all do or not but if if you haven't I recommend the show I really think that if you like pretty little liars you might just like faking it I, re- I really I really think so because you know I do okay and I like drama if you like shows with drama and sexy shit that's the shit for you <laughs> okay right off Amy is my favorite character and I just gotta get that out the way I love Amy. I, I think she is the best character on the show. Um, I love the way she dresses because she wears sweatpants and she don't give a fuck. And that's my type of shit. I love a good pair of sweatpants, okay? Um, I like how she, you know, deals with her family and the whole, um, you know, uh, the stepsister, stepfather situation. I just, I like how she deals with her friend. And I like her and Karma's friendship. Um... Yeah, I just love her character. I like how she is, uh, well, the show itself, not even her character, but the show itself is introducing things to people that they may not have seen. You know, I, I've, I didn't, I haven't personally experienced falling in love, falling in love with a best friend. And I don't really know anybody that ha- that has happened to, but it happens out there. And, um, this show is bringing that to light, is bringing gay, lesbian, intersex and let me tell y'all something i ain't know what the hell intersex was until i had to google it until that you know they said some shit about it on this show so um you know intersex transgender i don't really know if they got any trans i can't recall if they had any transgender moments but if they haven't yet i'm pretty sure they will and it's educating it's educating people about what's going on and it's for people that don't really know it's taking us through the whole journey of some of these people. It's taking us, like, Amy's character is taking us through the journey of her trying to figure out if she's a lesbian or not, you know, gay or not, or whatever you want to call it. And taking us through her dealing with the falling in love with best friend. Because even if you're not gay, you know, and you've fallen in love with your best friend straight, you know, if you're a guy, as a girl, you know, vice versa. It can help you, you know, watching this show, it can help you getting through that. If you are confused with your sexuality, it can help you with that too. And I really think that um, that's a good part of the show. It's a really good part of the show. Even though they faked it in the beginning and that's not really a good thing. (laughs) That's not really what uh, people should take from the show, like go out and fake being lesbian. But, you know, overall of that, I feel like it's educating and it's helping people and it's taking us through this journey. Like I said, um, Amy's my favorite character. I, and I also think I'm jumping on this fucking Carmi bandwagon. I do want Karma and Amy to be together. I may not care for Karma's character as much as Amy. I have my, uh, I have my gripes with her and her character. But 
A. Amy's my favorite character, so I might be a little biased. You know, I want them. I want them to be together. I want them to end up together. And I'm sorry, I don't care what nobody say. I think Amy. I mean, I think Karma feels something for Amy. I really do. Okay, she may not be lesbian. I mean, Car- Amy don't even know if she's lesbian. Do you know what I'm saying? They're both just trying to figure life out right now. And I think, come on, Karma. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Okay, y'all been, fr- <laughs> y'all been friends. Y'all been sleeping in the same bed long enough. Okay, it's time to make out. It's time to get it on, you know. But I just love them together. I think they're so cute together. And I love those moments when in the first season when... You know, Amy was just realizing that she was falling in love with her best friend or falling in love with Karma. And they would kiss and, you know, little things. And you would just see the look on her face like she was so in love. Like she really felt deeply for Karma. And I, you know, I wanted to work out. I'm I'm pro-love, okay? And like I said, Amy's my favorite character. So, I wa- you know, I want her to be happy. I want her to be with the person that she loves. Now, Greg... Okay, his character's not Greg on the show. Uh, I don't know what it is, Jake. I don't know. But I know his name in real life is like Greg or something like that. Okay, Greg, he's a cool character. And I know he really likes Karma. Like, I don't doubt that Karma really likes him. But I, I'm sorry. When he slept with Amy, and I'm going to get to Amy's part. I'm going to tear Amy up in a minute. But I got to get to Greg first because, look, okay, he had no business sleeping with Amy. I'm sorry. That's that's your girlfriend, your lover, whatever, homie lover friend. That's her best friend. You don't do that. You don't sleep with sisters, cousins, moms, <laughs> dads, best friends. You don't do that. That's off limits. You don't do that. You don't do that. If you're going to cheat, don't. first of all, don't cheat. But if you're going to cheat, cheat outside of the family and friends. And I just thought that... um. I I did think that she should have, you know, forgiven him. I do agree with forgiveness. But I don't think they should have stayed together. Well, they didn't stay together. They, you know, they just having sex right now. Which is cool. You know, that's the person you lost your virginity to. You don't really feel like going out fucking nobody else. Girl, I feel you, Karma. I'm on your side on that one. But I don't think they should get back together. Just because... People blame a lot of stuff on, uh, oh, I was under the influence. I don't care. I don't care if you was on crack. You not, you don't sleep with my best friend and think you won't even talk to me again. That's one. Now, I do believe he was sorry and all of that. I do believe forgiveness, they can maybe be friends. But if that was me, sorry, bro, hit the fucking road. Now, Amy. I'm not letting Amy slide. She is just as wrong in this situation. I gave Amy a pass only because of all the things they've been through. They grew up together. They can't they can't even go an hour without talking to each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, and of course, I may be a little biased because I want them to be together. But, <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm not letting Amy slide because, you know, they have been through a lot. But that was wrong of her. That was really wrong of her. And, you know... Yo, but like both of those girls, Karma and Amy, are gonna be stuck with this dude forever in their in their minds because they both lost their virginity to this dude. You know who you lose your virginity to, you never forget. You always gotta remember that. That's the first time. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's that's fucked up because I think that should have just been Karma's. That should have just been Karma's. So I I let Amy slide a little bit, but I ain't letting her slide completely. I ain't letting her slide completely. Uh. Like I said, I just started watching it, so I don't really remember names. But uh, the gay guy on the show, the best friend or whatever. Um, I like his character, but I like his character when it's with uh, Amy's stepsister. I like how they go back and forth and how they have their little how they have their little thing. How they help each other, but then they go against each other. I like that whole dynamic between them two. I really like that. And it, it makes good TV, you know. It's good for the show. Um, what else? I think I've pretty much gone through all the characters. To, like I said, the steps is I like her dynamic with the with the gay guy. Um, and I like her character. I like her character. She she gets on my nerves sometimes, but I, I and, and not even uh, not even that. She I like her. I like the uh, stepsister because I think she means well, <laughs> and I know that's crazy to say, but I think she means well. I think she's just 
a product of her dad like her dad is a piece of shit like he treats her I mean he don't treat her like a piece of shit but he treats her wrong because she's intersex like he's pushing her to do the um what is it the pageants the beauty pageants and stuff and it's like he's ashamed you know of her being intersex and I don't like that you know parent I mean parents are not perfect parents gotta go through their stuff too with how their kids are but at the end of the day that's still your child and I don't like that and I think that she's just a product of that and you know I don't know where her mom is you know I don't know if the mom died or she just didn't give a fuck you know I don't know I don't remember hearing nothing about the mom but whatever it is I think she's just a product of that whole thing you know what I'm saying and she just trying to figure it out you know she probably insecure and shit and she thinks that oh I need to be a bully in school and I need to fuck people over because of what I'm going through in my life which is wrong you know being a bully is is always wrong it's no excuse to hurt other people just because you've been hurt but I like her because I understand that about her character you know what I'm saying I know that she's just having some trouble but look man I like how the school the gay boy and I like how the school accepts these people for being different and I think that is a big fucking part of this story I really think it is because I think it I think it's trying to show kids that they need to be accepting of people who are different whether it's intersex gay lesbian whether you just like um freaking golf stuff you know like we should just be accepting kids in high school and not even just kids in high school just people in general we should be accepting of people that are different like we should not be I mean it's some things we don't understand and we may be a little ignorant about, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we don't need to be mean to these people. We should, you know, love them just like we love everybody else and accept it. So I like the show. Like I said, it's educating and it's teaching people stuff. Um, This season coming up, I saw the previews of this season coming up and it looks good. Now, what stood out to me is when karma... And Amy was kissing in the damn, uh, in the damn, uh, pool now. Now, I told y'all I want them together. I do. They're super cute together. I'm, I'm a need for that to happen. I'm a need for it to not be, like, um, earlier in season two when they were at the slumber party and they were about to kiss and then they didn't. No. I need for them to actually kiss in this pool. And I know another part of the preview was when the gay boy was like, so you don't remember what happened last night? Mm. Mm. okay now i really hope something went down i doubt it i doubt if something you know like that like that went down but i would love it amy's girlfriend i mean she's cool i don't really have you know too much to say about that but like i saw in the previews she gonna be doing it with some guy so you know she she going through it right now she trying to figure out which way she want to go and i respect it girl i respect it do your damn thing like I said, I want her with uh I want her with karma, but uh I can't really oh the guy, the new guy, the new character. I think that's the guy she's gonna be uh kissing and dating, right? I'm not exactly sure. But the new guy, the principal's son, he's cute. So I ain't even mad at that. If that's the type of flavor she wants, then get it, girl. I'm I'm pro Amy. She's my favorite color. I'm favorite color. She's my favorite character. I'm pro Amy, okay want her with karma but at the end of the day they are best friends so it might not be a good idea to you know cross those lines you know even though they kind of already did but it will be a good idea you know to cross those lines because they'll fuck up your friendship forever but it is tv it is fairy tale land so of course i want them to fucking ride off in the sunset together and be in love forever you know but look okay um my my predictions for this season, I just feel like uh I don't think Amy and Karma's gonna get together. They might have a moment. Because I do think I'm sorry, I do think that Karma Karma may not feel the exact same way, but I think she feels a spark between them. Cause when they had that threesome and they kissed, she talking about something, oh it was just hot. No, bitch. You felt something. I'm sorry. You did. And like I said, I might be biased, but I don't give a fuck, okay? She felt something. I know this season, next season, I know they're not going to end up being together. I know. Maybe on the last episode of the whole show. Maybe. And I don't even think that. But 
I do want them to test the waters again. Just test the waters, girl. Just see. <laughs> like Amy said, how you know it ain't right if you ain't trying it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I want karma to test the waters a little bit. Shout out to Craig. He can choke on a chicken bone for sleeping with Amy. He really can. Um, the gay guy, he's with that uh, wrestler. I don't know. I mean, I care about the other characters, but for real, for real, it's just about Amy and Karma and the Greg dude for me. Because that's the, that's the whole love triangle, you know. Amy. Amy. You know, I don't know. I can't even guess what she is right now. Because I'm like, she might just be bisexual. But for real, for real, she just confused. She just figuring it out right now. Like she said, she just figuring the fuck out. She, We might find out that she ain't even gay. We might find out that she is straight at the end of this whole show. You know, <laughs> we might find it out. So, look, I'm into the show. Like I said, I, re- I recommend that uh, y'all go and check it out because it's a pretty good show and if you like pretty little liars and if you like seeing sexy shit because every time i turn around a bitch is kissing another bitch uh, they having a threesome the dudes are kissing uh, the boyfriends are kissing and then you got uh the girl the stepsister kissing the, the the black dude it's a bunch of kissing if you like kissing you're gonna like the show it's drama egg man i recommend it but i don't know if I'm going to be coming back and doing reviews of this show every week, I got to figure it out. It depends on how many views and likes and, you know, that I get. But y'all can just let me know if y'all want me to review this or not. If y'all give a fuck about this show, you know. So, yeah, let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace, y'all.